So, some of our guides went up to do recon to see if we can make it up to the summit and a couple different trails. We don't know if they found a way to the summit, but they've come back with a lot of cool surprises. First of all, tons of honey, oh, which is amazing. And I've never had anything that tasted like this before. It's incredibly rich and strange. And they apparently just dug it up from somewhere. Now honey is something so special that if you're hiking up with porters and they're all carrying their luggage and they're all tired and one of them sees a swarm of bees somewhere, they'll just drop all the luggage and you've lost them. Off they go. One guy will rip off his jeans and light it to make smoke and they'll smoke out the honeys and they'll all of a sudden you open your bags and take out a bucket and fill the bucket with honey, a whole bucket of honey. And everybody will just crowd around it, just and the whole bucket of honey will be gone. It's like a honey party. Chew, chew this. Where did the honey come from? They spent the whole day probably digging it up. Oh, wow. Wow. That's the real thing. That's crazy. We have no information on whether they made it up the trail or anything. The name is the class. It's been about honey since they got here. <laughs> Now, honey parties, you think, would be fun, but actually, the rest of us, we have to work our way up. You know, I tried to participate at a full-level Malagasy the first time, and I had such a tummy ache. I mean, it's hard to drink about, a, you know, a whole liter of honey. Then, there's this thing, which I've never seen anything like this in my life. But it's a giant millipede, roly poly kind of insect. And I've never seen it unfurl. Ryan just put it in my hand, and the guides just brought it back for us. So I can't wait to see this beautiful guy unfurl. 